Hey folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and smash that like button because today we're taking a look at the beta version of Kira 4.8. We're going to go over some changes and new features and if you're a new Kira user or you want to learn more, stay tuned until the end of the video for a link to my Kira settings in 5 minutes or less playlist where I break down each setting in its own 5 minute video. And now, the Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Here it is, Kira 4.8, and it has a few cool new features, but first, let's go over the new printers that they've added profiles for. New profiles added to Kira 4.8 in this edition are the Artillery Sidewinder X1 and the Sidewinder Genius, the Anycubic Castle, the BQB1, the BLV MGN Cube 300, both the Cocoon Create and the Cocoon Create Touch, the Creality CR6 SE, the Flying Bear Ghost 5, and Fused Form 3D printers. Now, there are five or six Fused Form 3D printers that were added in this version. So, let's talk now about some of the new features. In 4.8, they have fixed the Arrange algorithm. It's a completely new algorithm, and this is thanks to a license change in Prusa's Libness 2D library. So, basically now, when I import a bunch of models and click the arrange button, it does a better job of utilizing the bed space with those models. Next, when opening a project file, you can pick which printer to open it on and not just the printer that it was sliced for. So, so previously, when you sent someone a project, you either had to have the exact same printer under the same name or create an entirely new instance. Now projects can be transferred from Kira to Kira without that problem of not having the exact same printer and the exact same name. Uh, there's also a new warning that they've implemented which shows that a profile has been successfully imported but it's not supported by the currently active configuration which means that you have a profile that does not work for the printer you're trying to use. There is, uh, uh, they now show parts of the model that are below the build plate in a different color. You can see that very clearly here. It works pretty well and does a good job of letting you know that something has fallen out of view. In this same vein, they're also showing the familiar stripe pattern for when objects are outside of the build volume in preview mode as well, and you can see that here. One of the other changes they've made is an ironing step at the topmost bottom layer when spiralizing a solid model. So when you're doing a vase in vase mode, it's gonna go really slow on that top layer of the very bottom of the vase in order to get a nice, really smooth, continuous surface. Um, the only other thing that they added in this version was allowing you to scroll through setting tooltips, which is really only useful for plugins. So we're not going to take a look at that right now. But all of these altogether seem to be nice contributions. I especially like the arrange models feature. I think it works well. And it used to frustrate me when it would just square them up and not actually arrange them. So that is a great addition. You should note that this is just a beta and there may be bugs. Kira releases these betas so the community can help find any issues before a full release. And while I haven't had any issues with 4.8 so far, if you happen to have a problem, please send them an error report. This helps them identify issues fast and improves the overall user experience for all of us. As always, when installing a beta, keep your old version. That about wraps up this version, but if you're still here, I recommend you check out this playlist. It's all about different Kira settings, their effects on each other and uses, and how they work together. One video for each setting in five minutes or less. Technivorous out. Well, that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit... 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.